warm up. Pretend I like I'm not cold. Alrighty guys, what is going on and welcome to the video. Today is January 2nd. Happy 2019. I can't even believe that it's 2019. That's like mind blowing to me. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. You guys haven't seen me in a vlog type video since before the holidays. I really do want to uh, say thank you for the response that you gave me on my last video. I was, as you can imagine, really nervous and hesitant to post that video, but I am so happy that I did. You guys are amazing. You left me the most touching comments I've ever had since I've been on YouTube. But this is a happy video. This is the beginning of a new year and I have Jeff back. I am currently in British Columbia, Canada, so I left Florida the day before Christmas, on Christmas Eve, to be here for Christmas and New Year's with Jeff. But before I left, okay, I'm gonna insert a clip right now because before I left, I wanted to show you all of the updates that I made on my Florida place. So I'm gonna insert that right now. It is currently like 4.45 in the morning and I have to leave for the airport in like five minutes. I got my bangs clipped back, which means I mean business, so this is gonna be super fast. I leave for Canada, like right now, so let's get started. So it's a bit of a mess, I apologize, because like I said, I am rushing to leave for the airport. So let's start with the kitchen. The only update to the kitchen is that I got a little rug. So the rest of all of this looks the same. And then here I got a painting to tie into like my beachy theme clock. We are going to be mounting a TV there, a new one, and then we're probably gonna put that one in our bedroom, it's kind of small. And this is my new couch, I'm in love. It feels like a cloud, literally. So happy with it. And this is a little dining set that I decided to get. I decided to go with like a breakfast nook style thing because I thought it would be the only thing that would kind of fit in this corner. I don't know if that painting is gonna live there or if that lamp is gonna live there, but for the meantime, that's what I got going on. Oh, I got this mirror, which is probably gonna go where the Christmas tree is at the moment, but it's a beautiful mirror. I'm gonna hang those curtains up, probably bring this mirror upstairs. And then this table is not gonna live here either, but I would like a table right here to put pictures of my family, good stuff there. Then, oh, I got these beautiful bar stools. I'm in love with these, fits in with my theme perfectly. The other updates, Oh, I have this mirror to hang up still too. The other updates are gonna be in the bedroom. Alrighty, so not a ton of progress in the bedroom. I just got little knickknacks. I got this ladder for to hang blankets on, and then I got another tree. That's the same mirror I had, but I hung curtains. And there's another tree there. And I got those little baskets over here, and then our bed frame. Really simple, natural, beachy vibes. It looks way better when it's daylight because the sun comes through the window, through the sheer uh, curtains, and it looks really beautiful and like, I don't know, like spa-like. I like that feel. And that's basically it. So, just kidding. I put together a bed in the guest room because this is going to be Rashawn's room when he gets here. So, I definitely need to do a little bit of work in here. It needs a lot of love, but we got a bed in here. So, that's all that matters. He at least has a place to sleep. I need to get to the airport, so I will see you in Canada. So I hope that you liked all the new additions that I have to the place. Jeff and I will be heading back to Florida on January 9th. We will be able to live and enjoy our new furnished apartment. One of my 2019 goals is to really work on my upper body. I spent a lot of 2018 working on my lower body, which I'm not going to neglect at all in 2019, but I think that I'm going to start improving and balancing out with my upper body as well. So I have my new personal trainer right here and he is going to be training me today. We've actually been training every day together since I've been here because he is like the best training partner ever. I usually train alone and my body's feeling slightly wrecked but it's been really good training together. Whenever I ask you guys if you want more upper body videos from me, you guys always say that you do. So you guys better watch this video because you <laughs> say you want upper body videos. If you're not watching this video, I'm the mad. Back in buys. That's crazy. I'm gonna warm up first. <laughs> Hi, mommy. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, that's an now. 
No, not too bad. So Jeff's flavor of pre-workout is so popular that it is always sold out. I, I love that one. That one is my favorite, but my second favorite, if you are looking for another flavor to try, if you haven't tried this one, this is the Sunrise, so I wanted to make another recommendation. I am going to be taking two scoops of Prolific. I'm going to need it because training with Jeff is no joke. And another thing that I wanted to mention to you guys, at the time that this video goes live, my women's specialization program is 50% off. I'm doing it for a New Year's sale, and I'm also working on part two. I know that a lot of you guys have run the program and love it and had like amazing results I've seen a lot of before and afters but you guys were like well now what do I do I've done it and you can run it again if you want to with progressive overload but a lot of you guys are looking for something new to start so I'm working on part two as of right now my program is 50% off so only $19.99 get it while it's hot okay so I am going to drink this and then Jeff and I are gonna head over to the gym so I will see you there Yeah. Rule one, always make sure the mic is on. So we have made it to Body and Soul Gym here in Kelowna, and this is one of the very few gyms. I think this is like the only gym in Kelowna, to be honest with you. The only gym in all of Canada, no, uh, that actually lets us film and is very welcoming for us to film. Huge shout out to Rob at Body and Soul, who is super nice and lets us film here. Jeff is definitely going to be taking the lead on this workout, telling us all the cues and everything, everything important that we need to be knowing. But kind of do a, a warm up because it's cold so outside. That was my whole warm up. <laughs> we're gonna do 15 back and forth arm swings. Okay. We're gonna do 15 forward, or you can do 10 forward, and do 10 backwards. Then you're gonna do 15 banded pull aparts. So you're gonna get the, so there's a bit of tension on the band. Okay. Get the rear delts involved, pull the band apart. Then you're gonna do 15 or so circumductions. So you're gonna start with the band here. You're gonna go up, over, and around. I'm gonna need a notepad because I forgot. I you forgot already? I, I forgot already. And then you're gonna do 10 or 15 external rotations. So you hold on to this. Oops. Maybe go over there so they can see. Externally rotate here. And that'll get your shoulder and rotator cuff nice. one arm lat pull down and we're doing them one arm at a time to really focus on each lat individually so generally speaking you want to start with a side that's either weaker or that you feel a weaker mind muscle connection with for most people who are right handed that's probably going to be your left side and you want to set this up so that at the top you have a really strong stretch in your lats so for me I'm going to have to bring this down a bit so that when I'm up here at the top I really have a stretch here and then I'm gonna pull down, driving my elbow down and keeping it in. Getting the stretch at the top and squeeze the lats at the bottom. And you should feel a really strong contraction here. So you start with your weaker side and match the reps with your stronger side and you'll be good to go. So I think we're gonna do 12 to 15 reps each side for three sets. I need to, I pull my elbow towards my lat, but I like crunch into it and I can feel it a lot better that way. Another couple of little tweaks that I, I forgot to mention. One is I like to use a thumbless grip or a grip with my thumb here on the outside of the handle rather than in here. I find this puts a weird strain on my wrist and for whatever reason I find a weaker contraction in my lat that way. So I put my thumb here and then also you kind of want to brace yourself. So I like to kind of put one leg back brace my hand here so I can get a full stretch, full contraction on my lap. OK, 
Okay, so next up is a seal row, and most gyms don't have a setup for a seal row, so you kind of have to make shift a way to do it. So this gym, they don't have an actual seal row machine, so we, I shouldn't say we, but Jeff put together a setup here that we can do the seal row. So he just stacked some step ups, and if you're not familiar with a seal row, or if you've never done it before, this setup will make a lot more sense when you see us actually do it. call that a warm-up just get a feel for it mm -hmm. I love those I haven't done those in a minute so the worst thing about the seal row is just the setup but even if you don't have these aerobic risers you can just stack up a few bumper plates find a bench that's high enough because what you don't want is you don't want your hands to hit the ground and limit your range of motion you want to be able to get a really good stretch down here at the bottom with these we're not just hitting the lats we're pretty much hitting everything back there so you're gonna allow the dumbbells to come forward you're gonna pull back but you're also gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together at the same time, which is gonna hit all the traps and all those muscles in the mid-back. You also wanna keep your glutes flexed and keep your hips pinned against the bench. And the main advantage of this, as opposed to just like a freestanding row, is that it's pretty much impossible to cheat with this. Mm -hmm. Like any movement is gonna have to come from the, the lats and the traps and rhomboids. You can't use your lower back or your glutes or your legs to kind of heave the weight up. So it's a really good one. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see you do it. So I'm not actually sure how much weight I'm gonna be able to do on this. So I'm gonna start conservative and I'm gonna start with like 10 pounds just to get a feel for it. And unfortunately, I can't cheat on this exercise. Yeah, so exactly. so <laughs> There's no showing off. It's straight lat. I, I know that Nunez always talks about this one. Yeah, so, good. yeah. So, start, start light. And with any exercise, if you're not familiar with doing it, start really light. <laughs> good job. One thing that we, hold on, this is weird. Okay, so one thing that we just did is I was just touching in different areas up Steph's trap. So first thing, think squeeze here, and she'll think about squeezing with her lower trap. Squeeze here, mid trap. Squeeze here, upper trap. Squeeze here, rear delt. Squeeze here, lat. Squeeze here, terrace major. So that way you kind of hit all the back muscles and just thinking about that area, I bet you probably felt yourself kind of pulling to that area more, right? Uh -huh. So just a little fun, fun little trick. You're a good training partner. Yeah. <laughs> a cable pullover. So I actually like to do these half kneeling so that I can take the rope and kind of extend it over my knee to get the most range of motion possible. So the idea here is to take the lats through the greatest range of motion possible through shoulder extension. So with the lats, you have two functions, shoulder extension and shoulder adduction. Here we're training shoulder extension. With this one, if you lean forward, you can see my lat and arms are in a pretty much a completely straight line. Whereas if I were to just stay upright, Look at it now, I don't have nearly the same amount of stretch on my lats. So I'm gonna lean forward, and then as I come through the range of motion, imagine if I stay leaning forward, I can only get my elbow to about here. Whereas if I stand up, I can get it all the way back. So by leaning forward and then stretching up, you can take the lats through a huge range of motion. And that's kind of the idea there. Okay? And you're gonna pull here, pull here. Keep your elbows straight. Good, that's perfect. Now I'm going to try to get, you want to get the rope a little further back. Back further. There you go. Yeah. Good job. of the workout with some rear delts. Um, even though they will be hit to a degree with the row, isolation exercises really are 
the bee's knees for their adults. So you want to do some, is that, is that an expression? <laughs> so you want to do some kind of uh, reverse pec deck or uh, reverse bent over dumbbell fly, cable or band pull apart, something like that. With this, the main thing you want to keep in mind is your hand position. So for me personally, I like to have a palms down grip. I just find I can feel my rear delts best like that. However, there is some research from Brad Schoenfeld and Brett Contreras showing that a neutral grip actually activates the rear delts better, which to me is so weird because I feel that in my side delts so much more. Yeah. Um, but we talked about that before me and you said, uh, and I think you should just go with what feels most comfortable. So. so I'm with Jeff on this one and I feel my rear delts way better when I have my palms down position. So I'm not that strong. <laughs> we are going to do biceps which is going to finish off this workout so the last thing that we're going to be doing for the biceps is something that I've never done before so it's going to be challenging and interesting so we're doing a giant set of three different bicep exercises back to back to back with no rest in between the first set of the giant set is going to be eight reps of a pronated bicep curl and then we're gonna do eight reps of a hammer bicep curl, finishing up with a supinated or upright bicep curl. So it's gonna be a pronated hammer, supinated bicep curl, back to back to back. And then in between each giant set, you take a break. So I hope that makes sense. It'll make a lot more sense when you see us doing it, but it's gonna be a tough one. Most people think that when you do a curl, the only muscle that's being activated is the biceps. But that's actually not true. You have an underlying muscle deep to the bicep called the brachialis muscle. That's actually the main elbow flexor, so that's the most active muscle. So when you do a curl, for a lot of people, their forearm muscles will take over. But we wanna actually target the biceps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-fatigue the forearm muscles by first doing a reverse grip curl, or a pronated grip curl, where we're gonna mostly activate this brachioradialis muscle right here, and we're gonna fatigue that one. Then we're gonna do a hammer curl, which is also gonna hit that and also hit a little bit more some of the supinator muscles of the forearm. You're gonna grip the dumbbell really hard. You're gonna think about curling with your forearm. Then by the time we get to the supinated curl, these muscles are all tired. So now what's left to do the work is the bicep. So it's kind of like a unique use of pre-exhaustion. Yeah. So you're gonna do your first eight with the reverse grip. Switch the hammer grip, grip the dumbbells really hard. Now you're gonna switch to the supinated grip. And you're gonna drive your pinky into the dumbbell. trying to build up my upper body this year. I am also still focusing on my ab game. I've mentioned in a few videos that I've been trying to work on my abs, so even when it's not prescribed more or less in the program, I am always adding some ab work at the end of every workout that I do, and I also do abs in the morning. So I try to hit them as much as possible, trying to increase my ab volume. So I'm gonna hop on here. I'm gonna do a few sets of hanging leg raises, and that is going to finish up the workout. Alrighty guys, so we are back from the workout. I am having my post-workout shake. The white chocolate mint is still in stock. I don't think there's a lot left of it, as far as I know. If you wanna get your hands on the white chocolate mint before it is out, grab it while you can. So I'm gonna sip on this, and that is going to conclude this video. Oh my God. I love you guys so, so much. Right here, I'm going to put a video. What, what do I wanna put here? What kind of video? 10K challenge. 
<laughs> right here, I'm actually going to put my 2018 recap video, just in case you haven't seen it. And right here, you can subscribe. And I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye. Mwah.